Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. So, um, first off, sorry for not being on. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be looking at Jenny M. Park Seogen. We're going to start off with looking at the energy between them. I will have timestamps down below. I have a total of three questions for this one. He tells the energy between Jenny and Park Seogen. The current energy between Jenny and Park Seogen. The current energy between Jenny and Park Seogen. Thank you. It looks like they're talking to each other about battles and conflicts that they have to deal with in their life. And how to start a new journey from it. How to move forward from it. Can you give us a little more description on this Three of Cups and this Five of Wands, please? A little, not a lot. Thank you. Mirror justice, double. A lot of wands. So with this Four of Wands energy, it's like they're getting closer together during this process here, socializing about any issues that come along. They're discussing about how to balance out their scales, make things better for themselves, turn things around, all these battles and conflicts that come along their way, and how to defeat it, something that they're connected to. So it's as though they're coming to each other about their own issues, about what they are doing. which helps make them see the issues from another perspective. It's like they give each other a realization. There is a secret union between them here. Commend be meaning that they're looking at or get the, they're talking about uh, like secret information that they don't share with the world. Why do we have the high priestess with this two of cups, please? That's pretty quick. <clears throat> well, it's like Jenny's placed in her cuss sign here, which is Aquarius. So we're back at it again. She's working on going toward, Jenny is working towards with Park Seogen of trying to find a wish fulfillment in the actions and truth coming to light of issues that were unwanted and trying to defeat them here. 
socializing about how to balance everything out, make things better. And it's really strengthening their bond. It's almost like it's changing energies into something stronger here, something better. <clears throat> I will look further into this higher font more because cards represent multiple things and I just want to make sure that they're like does this mean commitment because they are very 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 nice to each other with what I've seen or read So, I mean, we don't have the lover's card or anything. So, that's why I want to keep clarifying these cards. So far, it seems like it's just a friendship. Just a bond that's strengthening as they move forward in their journey about discussing issues and trying to help each other with where the other person feels like they're not moving forward in. Can you give us a description on this hierophant? Yeah. So, like I said, it's a partnership that they have going on. And it's just getting stronger as they're moving forward, helping each other out. Like I said, where one, if one feels like they're not being able to move forward in a certain situation in their life, then they go to the other person to find help. To figure out a solution to be able to move forward, transition to the next phase of what they're doing here. With the world and manifesting happiness. And this hierophant is showing up as dedication. Two of cups, a friendship, a partnership. These four of wands, they could be making each other feel at home while doing so, but it's also... Showing that it's making their bond stronger. So currently at this moment they're socializing about how to defeat any battles or conflicts, any issues that's along their way. It's almost like they're having some sort of gathering here. Hanging out, discussing this, trying to figure out how to do, get to the next part of the chapter. With where they have sleepless nights, fears, and anxieties about the insurities of taking this chapter and trying to move forward. Trying to break through the battles and conflicts. Wherever happiness falls through, it becomes a tower moment. Alright, so now we're going to move on to... Looking into the future energy between Jenny and Park Seogen. The future energy between Jenny and Park Seogen, please. The future energy between Jenny and Park Seogen, please. Receiving wish fulfillment, like useful information from each other here. To be able to move forward. So, excuse me. Um, whatever information they are giving each other is very useful. 
Can you tell us more about the future energy between Jenny and Park Seojin, please? And it looks like it has something to do with their career here. Unless it's, I mean, it could be two things about their career and building it. Also, Jenny being in her masculine energy here with the King of, King of Pentacles. Sorry, dyslexia just kicked in for a hot second there. Um, anyways, definitely see, seeing positive results from the whatever advice and information was given to the other person to help move forward, to walk away from things that no longer serve so they can move forward in this new chapter. Feeling happiness and a strong bond here with battles and conflicts, not to mention the Four of Wands next to the Five of Wands, taking the right steps. It's a tricky, tricky situation for them to find justice. So that's why they're going to each other about secret information that they hold from the world. It's like the issues that they have to deal with, but they're not socializing about it with the world. At least not immediately. They go to each other first for help, for information. And it seems as though it's very successful, very happy information. Much so discussing about it, the happiness here. Very strong bond. It's like it's making them get closer to each other. And they're holding on tight to the energy that they have then. And it looks like they're going to wind up continuing to come towards each other. to get more helpful information. Like they can rely on each other for advice, for very good advice. Um, and this current situation is proving that. They're going to be proving that, that they give each other good advice. Very helpful. It's almost like this is going to end up making their union, their friendship, go to the next chapter. This is like clarification here, but it's saying that Jenny isn't happy with her work. She's been patient about it, but now she'll keep going to Seojun about helpful information. I feel like we're just going around in a circle now. Let's ask about this outcome. An outcome for the Two of Cups and the Fool card. Can you give us the outcome of this Two of Cups and the Fool here? For their future energy, please.
the outcome of this two of cups and this full card here. What type of new chapter is this partnership going to go to? basically repeating itself being dedicated to very dedicated so it's bringing them really close together like i've been saying um with them sharing inf helpful information to each other where they feel like swords have been stabbed in their back with whatever their chain connection is if seojin has an issue with some sort of movie or show that he's doing. He's going to go to Jenny for some help. If Jenny has any issues with her career, then she's going to be going to him for helpful advice. And as this continues, they're seeing, like I said, positive results and feeling as though they're definitely able to go each to each other for any other type of advice. All right, <clears throat> moving into our last question here. Is Jenny and Seojun dating? Is Jenny and Seojun dating? Is Jenny and Seojun dating? No. What I'm seeing is a repeat here. They're charging towards a transition of creative contracts. So again, their friendship and they have a friendship and they're going to each other for advice to help them move forward into the next chapter with their career here. And it's very quick, positive results. It looks like with what they're what advice they're giving each other. <laughs> yeah, taking action. Where they feel feel stabbed in the back, where they don't feel like things are fair. So they are in a very big positive way helping each other. It's like they are positive influences on each other during their career path for sure giving each other very useful advice. Um, this is where I'm going to leave this one off at, you guys. Um, if you found yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, you guys, I'll be the same. Bye-bye.